What does a dungeon master do when his group is missing a player or two? Perhaps another player runs that missing player's character. Should the DM run the character? Or perhaps when a player misses a game session, his PC is not there either. Today, we're going to look at the pros and cons of these various options. Hey, Luke Hart here. This channel is about helping DMs run better games. So, what options does a Dungeon Master have when his group is down a player or two? We're gonna look at three ways to handle it and dive into the pros and cons of each. This is assuming that you don't just reschedule your entire game session when you're missing a player or two. First, you could simply have one of the players that is at the game session run the character of the missing player. Lots of groups do it this way and it is great for making sure the party stays at full strength. The downside though is that a player has to run a character that he's not familiar with. And let's be honest, player character sheets were not designed with simplicity in mind. So for the player that's trying to fill in for the missing player, that adds a lot of complexity to him. You know, I used to do it this way actually, and I had players straight up tell me that they did not like it. It, it simply was not fun for them. So if you're considering using this option, I would ask your players about it, see if they like the idea, and I would also ask for volunteers. Who knows, one of them might actually like doing it. Of course, there is one little other problem with this. What happens if the PC dies while the player's not even there? Yeah, hey, Jim Bob, what's going on? So, um, Brenda was filling in for you yesterday at the game session, and your barbarian shump, yeah, he sort of died. Yeah, that might not go over so well. Next, the DM runs the PC of the missing player. This keeps the party at full strength and avoids having to ask one of the players to run the PC. Of course, this could present problems of its own. Yeah, hey Jim Bob, what's going on man? So yesterday I was running your barbarian shump at the game session, like we discussed, and he sort of died. I bet that's an awkward conversation. One of the big drawbacks of the DM running the PC is the added complexity for the DM. Because let's be honest, a DM already has lots of stuff that he's running at the table. Does he really need to run a PC too? No. All right, so what does that leave us with? Wait, I got it. The PC just isn't there. No player, no PC. And it's that simple. I mean, that solves pretty much all of our problems, doesn't it? The players don't gotta mess with running a new PC. The DM's not gotta mess with it. Done and done. But wait, Luke, now I have to think of a story reason for the PC not to be there, and I have to work into the current plot line? No, you don't. Just tell your players that's the way it works. Tell them it's a game mechanic. Not everything needs to have a story explanation. Now, of course, the way I do it is to make up something outlandish and completely implausible. Tentacles shoot out of the water. They grab Shump and they drag him under. You all search in vain for several minutes, unable to find him, before you realize it's simply a DM plot device. And then you just move on. There is no reason to overcomplicate things. But Luke, you're missing something. The party will be down a PC. The encounters will be too tough. I, 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 I didn't think of that. So how about I do another video on how to handle that? Sound good? Anyway, that's just my opinion on these matters. I don't think there's ever really a one true way to do things. Every DM just needs to examine what works best for him and his players. So please let me know down in the comments how your group handles missing players. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button down below, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing. If you're into social media, you can follow me on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram at the DM layer. Over on Reddit, I'm LukeHart214 and I have a subreddit by that same name. Over on DriveThruRPG, you can find the adventures I publish. Some of them are actually even free. Link below in the description. And for fantasy fiction based on D&D, consider checking out my blog, thedmlayer.com, where I publish the adventures of the groups I run. So until next time, let's play D&D.